West, a band ship had to brave storms and hurricanes and go through the Straits of Magellan to reach the Pacific coast of South America. But the Spaniards found another way to get to the land of the Incas. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean and landed at the exact place where the Panama Canal is today, and from there overland across the continent. The native word Panama means plenty of fish. This port was just a peaceful fishing village before the Spanish built a fortress here. From here, they shipped much of the stolen Inca gold back to Spain under the watchful eyes of French and English pirate ships. There were once grand warehouses piled high with treasure waiting for the Spanish galleons. this camp, black slaves from Africa once lived and died. Just outside the modern city of Panama lies the ruins of the old city. In the 16th century, it was the center from which the valuable merchandise was shipped to Europe. World's trade makes use of the Panama Canal, built in this century to link the two oceans. But only a few miles away are the little islands, 160 of them in all, which once gave shelter to pirate ships. Hidden among these islands, they would lie in wait to attack a Spanish galleon laden with gold. I wonder how many Spanish ships may still be lying at the bottom of the sea, sunk hundreds of years ago by pirates, with the treasure of the Inca spilling out on the seabed. Goodbye. Till next time. Goodbye. Till next time.